Hey everybody, this is Adam Kokesh here at Freedom Farm in Arizona, and I am very excited today to be announcing the endorsements page of the Kokesh for President campaign, or as it's better known by its legal name, the Adam Kokesh American Referendum Project, because as you probably know, while I am technically running for president because of the nature of our platform, it's much more accurate to say that we are turning the federal election into a referendum on whether or not the federal government should be allowed to exist at all. So the endorsements page is not endorsing me. It's not asking you to endorse me because this campaign is not about me. Can I say me dramatically any more times in this video? Probably not. So to the point here, the website says, Please note that I am personally not accepting or seeking endorsements. We are asking for a pledge to not endorse anyone to be president ever again, and an endorsement of our approach to dissolving the federal government in a peaceful, orderly, responsible manner. As this campaign has always been about the platform, not any one person, that is what I am asking you to endorse. So not only is this really exciting because this is the line in the sand that we have drawn with this campaign. You can come over to the right side of history and the side of righteousness if you want, or you can keep supporting this unethical system with invalid authority and an illegitimate figurehead called the president who wields an authority over other human beings that should never have existed in the first place. So what we're doing here is also a very clever way to get people to join our email list and we really do appreciate people who stay connected with the campaign this way especially when we cannot rely on social media to get the message out there as you can tell from some of the numbers on Facebook and YouTube subscribers followers exposure not really lined up draw your own conclusions or maybe we'll save that for another video so this is asking you to take this pledge and to allow your name to be published publicly to say you are standing on the right side of history. Now, of course, we're not checking IDs. We are libertarians after all. If you want to use a fake name, if you want to use a fake email or create one just for this, we would still really appreciate you signing this pledge on our website and being a part of this movement right now to localize government because ultimately this is about you and your freedom getting government down to the community level where it's voluntary and you can choose to either stay with it or secede on your own property or create a new community based on your needs your values and those of whoever decides to join you so the pledge itself says whenever there is a reasonable alternative I will never support anyone to be president of the United States ever again. I endorse the approach taken by Adam Kogesh to dissolve the federal government in a peaceful, orderly, responsible manner. I'm also really excited today to be announcing our first notable endorsement. As you can tell from the t-shirt, there's a reason I pointed out I happen to be in Arizona right now. No, I have not moved back to California. And I got mm, love for California like a parent. Not like a parent for a child, like like for my parents, because because I, I was born in California. I uh, grew up in California. Got my first kiss in California. Um, elementary school, middle school, high school, college, all in California. I went to boot camp in California. Uh, I, I deployed to Iraq, out of California. But California also has a very distinct government problem. It also has a very distinct culture many multiple cultures and there are a lot of efforts within california to break it up into three or even six states but more importantly today i'm very excited to be announcing the endorsement of marcus ruiz evans of calexit independentca.org check it out i love what they sent me here along with this t-shirt thank you for your support adam california dreaming and loving and and that's a really you know i i I'm torn because I'm trying to kiss ass to California while saying that I still chose to live in Arizona. And I, as, <laughs> as much as I, I love California, um, I, I chose a place where we already have uh, a lot less government as we do here in Arizona. And I think there are a lot of people in California 
who have some great ideas and ideals and dreams for what California could be independent of the rest of the United States. And whether it's more in line with my vision of how I'd want to live, I want California to have that right because right now a large part of that government problem that they're experiencing is made possible by the federal government that sits over their system and creates all of the financial corruption opportunities, the incentives created through the banking system and the Federal Reserve System, not to mention the military policy and corporatism and blah, 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 all these things. I want California to be as California as it can be. I want California to have that freedom and that right to break off from the rest of the union, to break off into smaller pieces, into independent communities, because there are so many great, diverse cultures and subcultures and, and people who'd be better off independently. And that's just really exciting to see that regardless of what's going on with my campaign, there's an ongoing effort in California to say we don't need the federal government or really to be tied into the rest of this giant collective uh, known as the subjects of the federal government of the United States of America. So as it says on the endorsements page, if you'd like to be added to our list of notable endorsements, please email adam at thefreedomline.com. So just a couple other quick updates for the campaign with this video. Our press secretary, Marcus Poulos, has been killing it as a volunteer for the last year and a half and is really picking up momentum lately, especially. I'm doing at least an interview a day on average right now, and we're actually looking to pick that up. So if you want to help out, Marcus Poulos is organizing the Freedom Family Media Team. That's actually a group on Facebook you can join. Also, Adam Kokesh's Twitter Hounds is another Facebook group that's part of the the Freedom Family Media Team general effort. And if you want to be involved with any of that, please reach out to Marcus, and that's Marcus, M A R C U S, at thefreedomline.com. And for Facebook, I'm really excited to announce that we just brought on a new Facebook coordinator, Nate Bott. So if you're connected with me on Facebook, you might see him around there helping me distribute content, getting groups organized, and more importantly, helping people get organized to be delegates to the National Convention next year in Austin for the Libertarian Party, because that's where the rubber first meets the road. That's where we have delegates actually voting for who's going to be the Libertarian presidential nominee. So I hope you'll be there. Get involved with the Libertarian Party now lp.org you can join there or if you can't pony up $25 a year there is a secret link lp.org slash free membership one way or another join the party get involved you get to have a say I have yet to hear a single complaint about the Libertarian Party that could not be solved by the person complaining showing up and doing something about it so on that note thanks so much for making this possible thanks so much for being part of the movement of freedom and love and harmony and peace and bringing that to the world through the non-aggression principle and libertarian philosophy. Mwah. Peace and love, y'all.